Hello and welcome to Dartmoor. Today I've got a fantastic walk planned. First of all, I'm going to head to Store Down Stone Road. And from there, I'm going to head to Hillson's house. So who's Hillson? Well, he was an abandoned baby boy found in the heart of Dartmoor many years ago. I'll tell you more about his interesting story when we get there. So join me for a fantastic walk on Dartmoor. Let's go. Recently, we had all that rain and the snow, but look at that, the sun is shining. Yep, it's gonna be a cracking day, although it is forecast rain as well. So, fingers crossed. Coming up to Stolton's Dome Road now, you can just see it, there it is. What a cracking stone that is. The stone row runs from north to south and it's about a half a kilometer in length or about a third of a mile in length. And you'll find the larger stones at the northern end, moving down to the smaller stones at the southern end. Look at these stones, they're massive. And that's just above ground. There's obviously loads more below the ground as well. And these were not been put in place by cranes or machines of any kind. I mean, these were put in place over 4,000 years ago. I mean, that was pure brute strength. Not a one man job either. And they would have had to get these stones from wherever and drag them here for the stone rows. Maybe with logs and ropes, who knows, but they are, Impressive, aren't they? It's just started raining. Hopefully it's a quick passing shower. And I don't have to put waterproofs on. So I'm standing behind this stone to shelter. <laughs> but it was forecast rain today. Well, thankfully that shower didn't last long. Look behind me. There's blue skies on the way again. I'm currently sat inside Hilson's house. So who is Hilson, you might ask? Well, the story goes that many, many years ago, a baby boy was found abandoned on this area of Stored Down Barrow. And efforts were made by locals to try and find his parents, but sadly, without success. And then a childless elderly couple came forward and offered to adopt the baby. They gave him the name Hilson, as in son of the hill, after the area that he was found. And Hilson became quite a shy, quiet young man and preferred his own company. And when he was old enough, he decided to return back to the moor, to the area that he was found. And using the bricks from a nearby cairn, he built himself a small dwelling to live and work from. So the house of the dead became the house of the living. Hilson then taught himself the skill of clock making and made a living from making eight day clocks. Now like me, you might now be thinking, what's an eight day clock? I had no idea. So onto Google I went to find out. And it's a clock that's made to last eight days and then it needs to be wound up. So usually every seven days, the same time every week, they would wind it up with the key to keep it going. Every day is a school day. The cracking story. I love stories like that. Now time for a nice cup of coffee and some lunch. Store down Stone Row is just over there. I'm not sure I'll pick up on camera. So Helson's house is actually quite near the Stone Row. I mean, look at those views. Absolutely fantastic views. What a place to have lived.
What a fantastic day. Store down stone row, for me, has to be one of the most impressive stone rows on Dartmoor. And Hilson's story, I love that story. Being found abandoned on Dartmoor, adopted by a caring elderly childless couple, and then eventually going back to his roots of where he was found to live on Dartmoor. What a fantastic story. As always, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed the journey as much as I have. Whatever you're doing, have a fantastic day. This is Dartmoor Adventurer signing off from Dartmoor. I'll see you again soon.